a sense is that's called. You know what we do? We sell drugs, we smoke drugs, right? We went from woman to woman. We got baby mama here, baby mama here. You understand? Those are our sins, my love. We gotta come like that. You wanna fix your life? You wanna fix the hood? You gotta come back to these commandments. What's up, Brethren? How you feeling? What's your name? My name's Kennard. Kennard. Come on, come, Kennard. My name is Judea. My name is Judea. We are the Israelites. We are the prophets of the Most High God. We are the ones that come out here to teach the people who they are according to the Bible. That's right. You understand? Respect. So, Kennard, what's your question? What's my question? Yes. How can we? That's a good question. That's a good question. Now, you know what? Those are the questions that we want the people to ask. All right? That's why we out here. How can we fix our lives today? Give me Matthew 19. Because guess what? We fell away from the Lord's statutes and commandments of God. Okay? Just like if you got a son, Kanar, and you tell him, hey, listen, clean your room. You want an allowance? Clean your room. Go to school. Get good grades. But guess what, Kanar? He goes against everything that you told him to do. Right? So the same way with us. The Most High God gave us law, statutes, and commandments, and guess what we did? We turned away from them. You know what we did? We said we want to do what we want to do. We said we want to, we said we want to pimp out our sisters. We said we want to smoke weed. We said we want to drink all day. We said, no, Lord, we want to go to the club. That's what we want to do. We want to become niggas and spicks out here, Lord. We no longer want to be your holy people. We want to be as the heathen. Read this. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. Come on. And behold, one came and said unto him, uh -huh. Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So this young man came to Christ and said, What good things that I should do that I may have eternal life? Ganon came and said, Hey, how can we fix our life? Lives. Guess what? The Bible has a solution to all our problems. Read on. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? He said, Why are you calling me good? Come on. There is none good but one. There is none good but one. That is God. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, if you want to enter into life, Kanar, you want to fix the pro your problems in your life, in your personal life, right? And then come and help your people. This is what the Bible say. Read. Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. Guess what, Kanar? That's how our problems go away. What did the Bible just say? Keep the commandments of God. Because That's guess what? We fell away from them. We no longer know who we are. Who are you? Where's your nationality, Kanar? What's your nationality, young man? Hey, Kanar, come on, one second, one, one second, one second, one second. Look, watch this. What's your nationality? Trinidadian, right? Trinidadian and you said black. Guess what? None of that's in the Bible. None of that's in the Bible. Trinidadian is not in the Bible, neither being black is in the Bible. You understand? But guess what? These right here is the names that the Most High God gave us. Judah, Benjamin, Levi. You understand? Those are the names that God gave us. That's your nationality. That's your heritage. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's your nationality. When somebody asks you, who are you? You no longer say, yo, I'm, a, I'm black. Guess what? Jesse Jackson and them came up with that nonsense. African American. You understand? Negro. They came up with that nonsense. That's not who you are. That's not who you are according to the Bible. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You understand? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 37. Trinidad. Guess what? You from Trinidad. You from the tribe of Benjamin. That's where you from according to the Bible. That's your nationality. That's where you from. Read this. Come on. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 37. Come on. And thou shalt become an astonishment. So God said we shall. He gave, this, he gave these words to Moses. Right? Moses said in the last days, guess what? You so-called blacks. You so-called Jamaicans. Trinidadians. You know what y'all going to be calling yourselves? Y'all going to be calling yourselves black. Y'all going to be calling yourselves Trinidadian. He said, yo, you're going to become an astonishment out here in the Bronx. You're going to be an astonishment. You understand? Because why? You fell from the grace, the, from the, the high standard that the Most High God had us in. Right That's what we did. That's what we did. Read. A proverb. A proverb. You know what's a proverb? Black men like canard like chicken and watermelon. 
That's a proverb. That's a saying. You understand? A, a Trinidadian. All, Trin all they do is sell and smoke weed. You understand? That's that's a pro that's a proverb. It's a saying. It's a slick saying about somebody. Puerto Ricans, all they do is steal cars. You understand? Dominicans like bananas. These are sayings. These are these are these are proverbs that they have put on our people. Read on. And a byword. And a byword. And a byword. Black, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Trinidadian. You understand? Those are that's how we fell away. Now we call ourselves now like now we call ourselves these names. Now we call ourselves these names. You understand? Give me uh give me Jeremiah three. Hey, Kanal, one more scripture before you go, Bedrin. One more scripture. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 18. Because this, this is how we this is how we solve our problems, Kanal. Read. Come now and let us reason together. So the Bible said, come and let us reason. God is through the, through the prophet Isaiah. He's saying, come and let us reason together. Come on. Say of the Lord. Say of the Lord. Come on. Though your sins be as scarlet. Though know what? Your sins be as scarlet. He said, though your sins, Bernard, be as scarlet. Because guess what? In the hood, you know what we do? Our sins is that scarlet. You know what we do? We sell drugs. We smoke drugs, right? We run from woman to woman. We got baby mama here, baby mama there. You understand? Those are our sins, Bernard. We got to come out of that. We, come, we got to come out of that. You hear me, young man? These are our sins. These are our sins, because guess what? This the thing, right? We don't know how to be men. We don't know how to be men, Kanan. We grow up from young men to young boys, and then we enter into that man stage. You understand? Then we enter into that man stage. But guess what? Our people don't truly know how to be men. The men in the Bronx don't know how to be men. Give me First Kings 2. First Kings 2. You know what I want. You understand, Kanan? So that's the whole deal, bro. We got to get back to these commandments. You want to fix your life? You want to fix the hood? You got to come back to these commandments. You understand that? You want to fix your life? You want to fix the hood? Guess what? You got to come back to these commandments. You got to keep the commandments of God. That's why when you look around in the Bronx, you see this tightness right here? We're not supposed to be living like this, bro. We're not supposed to be living like this. You understand? On top of each other, store after yeah. store after store, rats, roaches running around. We're not supposed to be living like this. But guess what? It's because of our yeah. sins. Shalom Israel, Musa and Christ bless. Scan that QR code that you will see on the screen. Because guess what? We trying to push this truth toward the four corners of the earth. Let's push this truth toward the four corners of the earth, man. Stop playing games, man. Let's make sure you subscribe to all our channels. We're pushing the truth. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs>
and keep the charge of the Lord thy God, to walk in his way, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments. That's what make you a man out here in the Bronx, applying the laws of God. That's what make you men. That's what make you a man. Not how much drugs you sell. Not how much women you have. That don't make you a man. Keeping these commandments and walking right and doing right in the sight of God. Loving your brother as you love yourself. That's what makes you a man. Marrying, uh, marrying your wife, that's what makes you a man. We don't have girlfriends, we don't have side pieces. We believe marriage is honorable. Marry the woman, that's what makes you a man. Keeping the commandments of God is what makes you a man. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.